We're gonna go check out the fall garden coming in. It's been doing pretty well so far. Um, I went with, uh, I took all this uh, ivy stuff that was growing here. I ripped it all down. It, it got out of control. We were gone for a little bit. I came back and man, it was, it was out of control. It was growing everywhere, so I've been chopping it down. Um, I even put some of these wicking beds in here because some things like I could not get my uh, cucumbers to grow, period, whatsoever. They just wouldn't do it. You see these little things I built for them and, and tomatoes as well. They just, it, it sucked. They wouldn't do it. Tomatoes were having a hard time on the ground out here. It was just too hot. Like I'll show you that barrel over there that just looks like, you know, there was infestation of something. I let my basil go to seed. I've been pulling the seed heads off and taking them and spreading them around everywhere. Uh, this, uh, this guy is doing pretty good. I've actually pulled a bunch off of them. Um, what is it? It's an okra. Sorry. You can see a bunch coming in right up here. So there's some down there that uh, just got too big and they dried out. These pepper plants, I'm going to pull these up. Probably this basil too. They're all going to go inside the house. You can see them. They're coming in. And these little guys right here. Everything from spinach. What are those plants? Spinach, kale, broccoli. And I just threw it around everywhere. It's coming in. It's going to do all right. Tonight I'm going to water again. I got it on a good watering regimen. All of this uh, amaranth. It's gone to seed. I'm going to pull these off and go throw them around for deer and whatnot. My sweet potatoes, they're coming back pretty decently. I mean, that this this garden got hammered this summer. I mean, it was it was brutal. It just, it took a beating from the sun. And I mean, I watered and I watered and all this stuff. And I'm thinking maybe I'll get a fruit tree and plant one right there. I might plant one right here in the middle and I might plant another one down there. Because you can see, you know, this is my yard. We live on, a, this is all hill, wherever we live. It's all downhill there. It all slopes this way, it comes down. It goes downhill over there. You know, the house right here, the hill down on that side. So we don't have a lot of flat, but uh, I might put a couple trees here just for shade. Or who knows, this might not end up being, this might be the outdoor kitchen soon. And the garden will probably be on the other side back there. I'll go clear up some of those pine trees and redo all that, flatten it out. But anyways, this guy, so it's coming back. I got a lot of stuff coming in. I'm pretty excited about it. It's, I even have a little uh, um, watermelon coming in right back there. I don't think you see him. He's right in there. So my, my dream is to get with the Wiccan beds and have all that stuff. This shishu, so haven't really eaten much of it, but I'm not gonna eat it now. It's all went to seed and all that stuff. So I'll be chopping this back, and replanting all this stuff for next year. Find a bunch of places in the woods and whatnot. And that's what, you just let it go and it'll, it'll come back. This is, uh, um, I, want, I think this is Israeli spinach. These leaves right here, edible, they're good, stir fries. You can just chop them up, eat them, put them in your salad. Now the smaller leaves are obviously better. And then again, lots of basil. But you can see it's, it's coming in. You see all the green back there. That's all stuff I planted. And that's what I'm doing. It's, it's mostly fall garden now. Uh, my onions, I might be able to pull some of those up. That I planted and you can see some of the potatoes in the ground sticking up a little bit but it's getting that point you know it's turning over something new and oh yeah I wanted to show you this this guy it's just it just looks sad maybe it's more fertilizer meat and you see the Sun has just bent that barrel Look at that barrel just came in on I don't know I mean I'll get a stick and put it in there open it back up but and this was this was what was left this is all the dirt I had that was left it wasn't very much there's only a little bit of a rock down there at the bottom um, Again, it's, the holes are drilled in at the five gallon mark. Um, so it keeps moist and there's, there's, you know, there's moisture in there. So that does, it probably do better. I'll probably end up just filling it the rest of the way of the dirt. So next year I'll, I'll do my tomatoes in here and I'll, I'll probably empty it out and put organic dirt in there, the rocks on the bottom and let them grow up here and see if that does anything different than what I've been doing because I've been having a hard time with tomatoes. But as you can see, it's, it's coming in. We got lots of green growing and I'm pretty excited about it. So take it easy.